Chapter 9 Power is given to the apostles. Luke 9 verses 1 to 2, KJV. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He called his twelve disciples together and gave them power. Power was given only to the twelve apostles at this point and not to every believer. Special power was given to certain Jews at a certain time for certain reasons. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. They were sent to preach about the kingdom, not the dispensation of grace. The gospel of the kingdom also had signs following it. They had power to heal the sick totally and immediately, Matthew 4 verses 17 to 23 KJV, from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Jesus sends out the twelve. Luke 9 verses 3 to 6, KJV, And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves, nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide, and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed, and went through the towns, preaching the gospel, and healing everywhere. Preaching the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 4 verses 17 to 23 KJV. From that time Jesus began to preach, and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. This was Jesus' kingdom plan for missions to the lost sheep of the house of Israel only. If you try to mimic or pattern your ministry after this plan, you will fail. God is not doing his work this way today. And healing everywhere, the gospel of the kingdom had signs following it. Our gospel today does not. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 KJV. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, Acts 20 verse 24 KJV, But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry, which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Luke 9 verses 7 to 8, KJV, Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed, because that it was said of some, that John was risen from the dead, and of some, that Elias had appeared, and of others, that one of the old prophets was risen again. That Elias had appeared, this is speaking of Elijah who was to come before the Lord sets up his kingdom. Luke 9 verses 9 to 11, KJV, And Herod said, John have I beheaded, 
But who is this, of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them, and spake unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. Spake unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them. Matthew 4 verses 17 to 23. Luke 9 verse 12, KJV, And when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve, and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about, and lodge, and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. We are here in a desert place, a deserted place, or a place with nothing to sustain them. See Mark 8 verse 4 where his disciples call this place the wilderness. Luke 9 verses 13 to 15, KJV, But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all this people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so and made them all sit down. Make them sit down by fifties in a company. There were a hundred companies of fifty men each. Mark 6 verse 40. Luke 9 verses 16 to 17, KJV, Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them, and brake, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled, and there was taken up of fragments that remained to them twelve baskets. Twelve baskets full, there were twelve apostles, to carry twelve baskets back with them. This signified that there would be enough food to feed Israel again at a later point. In the time of Jacob's trouble, Jesus will again feed Israel in the wilderness for three and a half years. Revelation 12 verse 6 KJV And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. The Christ of God Luke 9 verses 18 to 22 KJV, and it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him, and he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say, Elias, and others say, that one of the old prophets is risen again. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God. And he straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be slain, and be raised the third day. The Christ of God, in Matthew he says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Christ means the Anointed One. Matthew 16 verse 16 Following Jesus Luke 9 verse 23 KJV, and he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. Take up his cross daily, and follow me. This meant for those three years while the kingdom was at hand, they were to leave all and follow Jesus. They were to be preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing the sick. Luke 9 verses 24 to 26, KJV, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged, if he gain the whole world, and lose himself, or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his Father's, and of the holy angels. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, for those alive while the kingdom of heaven was being preached, who will lose eternal life if they do not forsake all and follow him, including those alive in the tribulation. Matthew 24 verses 13 to 14. Be cast away. Jesus is speaking of being cast into hell. Luke 9 verses 27 to 28, KJV, But I tell you of a truth, there be some standing here, which shall not taste of death, till they see the kingdom of God. And it came to pass about in eight days after these sayings, he took Peter and John and James, and went up into a mountain to pray. 
There be some standing here, which shall not taste of death, till they see the kingdom of God, Peter, John, and James were all eyewitnesses of his majesty. 1 Peter 1 verse 16 KJV Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Majesty has to do with the kingdom glory he would have one day. They got to see a glimpse of the kingdom that day. Luke 9 verses 29 to 30 KJV And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias. The fashion of his countenance was altered, he was transfigured before them. 1 Peter 1 verse 16 There talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias, the two witnesses mentioned in Revelation 11 verse 3 KJV, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. Luke 9 verses 31 to 32, KJV, who appeared in glory, and spake of his decease which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep, and when they were awake, they saw his glory, and the two men that stood with him. 1 Peter 1 verse 16, Luke 9 verses 33 to 35, KJV, And it came to pass, as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. While he thus spake, there came a cloud, and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. Let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias, not knowing what he said, Peter didn't know they would be leaving so abruptly. Peter and all of Israel for 400 years were waiting for Elias slash Elijah to return just before the kingdom is established. Tabernacles were temporary dwelling places and booths like the children of Israel built while they were wandering in the wilderness. This is my beloved son, hear him, God had previously called Jesus his beloved son after the Holy Ghost descended upon him at his baptism. Luke 3 verse 22 He was anointed at that time to begin his ministry as Israel's high priest. Acts 4 verse 27 KJV For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel, were gathered together, Acts 10 verse 38 KJV, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. This time God tells Peter, James, and John to hear his son. This is just before he tells his disciples of his crucifixion. Verses 44 to 45 below. Luke 9 verse 36, KJV, And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone. And they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. Jesus was found alone, Moses and Elias had departed. They kept it close, they kept this event a secret between themselves for the time being. Jesus cast out a spirit. Luke 9 verses 37 to 42, KJV, And it came to pass, that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. And, lo, a spirit taketh him, and he suddenly creeth out, and it teareth him that he foameth again, and bruising him hardly departeth from him. And I besought thy disciples to cast him out, and they could not. And Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you, and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. And as he was yet a-coming, the devil threw him down, and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, and healed the child, and delivered him again to his father. Mark 9 verses 17 to 29 KJV and one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit, and wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, 
and gnasheth with his teeth, and pinneth away, and I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answereth him, and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground, and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it hath cast him into the fire, and into the waters, to destroy him, but if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us, and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing, but by prayer and fasting. O oh, faithless and perverse generation, Jesus' disciples did not have faith enough to heal him. How long shall I be with you and suffer you? Jesus would be leaving Israel after his resurrection, and he would need his twelve to do this in his absence. Matthew 17 verses 14 to 21 the devil threw him down, and tear him, hurt him. Mark 9 verses 17 to 29. Luke 9 verses 43 to 45, KJV, and they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. But while they wondered everyone at all things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. Let these sayings sink down into your ears, the saying that the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. They understood not this saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not. The disciples were not looking forward to the cross for salvation. Matthew 16 verses 21 to 23 KJV from that time forth began Jesus to shew unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him, and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned, and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Luke 24 verses 44 to 48 KJV, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms, concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. Which of them should be greatest? Luke 9 verses 46 to 48, KJV, Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be greatest? And Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child, and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receiveth me, and whosoever shall receive me receiveth him that sent me, for he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart, Jesus knew their thoughts being God in the flesh, and he oftentimes exhibited the attributes of deity. Whosoever shall receiveth this child in my name receiveth me, Matthew 10 verse 40 KJV, He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Matthew 18 verses 1 to 5 KJV, At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? 
And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Luke 9 verses 49 to 50, KJV, And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him, because he followeth not with us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. We forbade him, because he followeth not with us. He was not an apostle, but at the time that the kingdom was at hand a believer could do these things. Luke 9 verse 51, KJV, And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. The time was come that he should be received up, Mark 16 verse 19 KJV, So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. John 14 verses 1 to 3 KJV, Let not your heart be troubled, ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Galatians 4 verse 4 KJV But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, 1 Timothy 3 verse 16 KJV And without controversy great is the mystery of godliness, God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Mark 16 verse 19 So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. He steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, Isaiah 50 verse 7 KJV, For the Lord God will help me, therefore, shall I not be confounded, therefore, have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. Luke 9 verse 52 KJV, And sent messengers before his face, and they went, and entered into a village of the Samaritans, to make ready for him. Before his face, ahead of him, or in front of him. A village of the Samaritans, these were Jews of the northern ten tribes whose ancestors set up golden calves to worship under Jeroboam. They had mingled their seed with the surrounding Gentile nations. 1 Kings 14 verse 16 KJV And he shall give Israel up because of the sins of Jeroboam, who did sin, and who made Israel to sin. Luke 9 verses 53 to 54, KJV, And they did not receive him, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven, and consume them even as Elias did? 2 Kings 1 verse 10 KJV and Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven, and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven, and consumed him and his fifty. Luke 9 verses 55 to 56, KJV, But he turned, and rebuked them, and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them and they went to another village. His face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. He was continually looking towards Jerusalem while he was there. The Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. When Jesus returns, he will come as the Son of God, and those who oppose him will be destroyed. Luke 9 verses 57 to 58, KJV, And it came to pass, that, as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. The Son of Man, a messianic title. Acts 7 verse 56 KJV And said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. 
Revelation 14 verse 14 KJV, And I looked, and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. Hath not where to lay his head, he doesn't have a home to sleep in. Jesus calls people to follow him. Luke 9 verses 59 to 60, KJV, And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. There were less than three years remaining before the 69th week of Daniel was to expire, and the Messiah was to be cut off. Daniel 9 verse 26 KJV And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. Then the seventieth week of Daniel, the time of Jacob's trouble, would begin. Preach the kingdom of God, that is why Jesus told this man to get busy preaching, so that spiritually dead people could be made alive by the gospel. Matthew 4 verse 17 KJV from that time Jesus began to preach, and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Luke 9 verses 61 to 62, KJV, And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. I will follow thee, but let me first, there was no me first in following Jesus while the kingdom was at hand. Looking back, to follow Jesus meant to sell all that you had and to go and follow him from that moment on. This was because the kingdom was actually at hand and would have come soon had the nation of Israel repented. They did not. Luke 17 verse 32 Remember Lot's wife? This is an unfortunate chapter division at this point because it breaks up the context of Jesus calling disciples to preach the gospel of the kingdom to Israel. Chapter 10 The kingdom is nigh. Luke 10 verse 1, KJV, After these things the Lord appointed other seventy also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whither he himself would come. The Lord appointed other seventy also. 35 two-man teams, totaling 70. The same number of the Sanhedrin, the rulers of Israel. These along with his 12 apostles all going about to warn Israel that their long-awaited kingdom was nigh, near, or at hand. Matthew 3 verse 2 KJV And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The laborers are few. Luke 10 verse 2, KJV, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. The harvest truly is great. There were many children of Israel that needed to hear the gospel of the kingdom. The Lord of the harvest, Jesus is the Lord of the harvest. Jeremiah 5 verse 24 KJV Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God, that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Luke 10 verses 3 to 7, KJV, Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it, if not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. If the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. Jesus is the personification of peace. Matthew 10 verse 13 Go not from house to house. If they found a house that believed Jesus was the Christ, they were to stay with them until they left the city for the next one. Luke 10 verses 8 to 9, KJV, And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. 
heal the sick that are therein, the gospel of the kingdom had healing as a part of its message to prepare believing Israel to be priests in their coming kingdom. Matthew 4 verse 23 KJV And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. 1 Peter 2 verses 5 to 9 KJV Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in shown a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Neither of these two passages of scriptures are written to us today. They are both to the children of Israel for their kingdom. Priests could not have any infirmities in their flesh. Leviticus 21 verse 21 KJV No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. It has not come nigh unto us today, because the king is not here with us, as he was with them. Luke 10 verses 10 to 11, KJV, But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you, notwithstanding be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. This meant that they did what was required of them under the law, and that their blood was on their own hands now. Acts 13 verse 51 KJV But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came unto Iconium. Man was formed from the dust of the earth, and their bodies would return to the dust. Genesis 2 verse 7 KJV and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis 3 verse 14 KJV And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Dust was used when there was mourning or great grief. Joshua 7 verse 6 KJV And Joshua rent his clothes and fell to the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord until the eventide, he and the elders of Israel, and put dust upon their heads. Revelation 18 verse 19 KJV And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate. The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. This practice is not for the body of Christ today, as the kingdom of God is not come nigh us, as it had for them in those days. Woe unto thee. Luke 10 verses 12 to 13, KJV. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom, than for that city. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee. Bethsaida. For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida, two cities where Jesus performed many of his early miracles at. Matthew 11 verses 20 to 24 KJV. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not, Woe unto thee, 
Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. Chorazin is a city just to the north of Capernaum. Bethsaida is directly east of Capernaum along the coast of the Sea of Galilee. It was where a blind man was healed. Mark 8 verse 22. It was also the hometown of Philip, Andrew, and Peter. John 1 verse 44 KJV. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Luke 10 verse 14 KJV. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. Tyre and Sidon, two coastal cities north of Caesarea in modern-day Lebanon. They were cities of Phoenicia. At the judgment, the great white throne judgment. Revelation 20 verse 11 KJV. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. Luke 10 verses 15 to 16 KJV. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shalt be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. The city itself cannot be thrust down to hell, but the people could. Capernaum was where Jesus' home base was at for most of his three-year ministry. Matthew 4 verse 13 Capernaum gets the harshest judgment of all the three cities because many miracles were done in Capernaum. Luke 10 verses 17 to 20, KJV, And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. The seventy returned, these were the seventy that Jesus appointed and sent out in Luke 10 verse 1. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven, Isaiah 14 verses 4 to 17, Ezekiel 28 and Revelation 12 verse 9. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. These are the same powers mentioned in Mark 16 verses 15 to 18 that he gave to those that he sent out to preach the exact same kingdom message. They could drink something deadly or be bitten by a poisonous snake and it wouldn't hurt them. You cannot do this today in the dispensation of grace. Luke 10 verses 21 to 22, KJV, In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. Thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent, the religious were wise in the world's eyes, and God denied them these truths because of their rejection of Jesus as the Christ. And hast revealed them unto babes, the disciples were privileged to see and do some amazing things, which we cannot do today because we are not that generation which were given power by Jesus to do these miracles. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, the power to tread on serpents and to heal people. Luke 10 verses 23 to 24, KJV, And he turned him unto his disciples, and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see, for I tell you, that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, 1 Peter 1 verse 11. 
Luke 10 verses 25 to 28, KJV, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus' answer was do what Moses said in the law, and thou shalt live, inherit eternal life. We wouldn't tell someone today to keep the Ten Commandments to obtain eternal life, but Jesus did because Israel was still under the law of Moses before the cross. The Good Samaritan Luke 10 verses 29 to 37, KJV, But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three, thinkest thou, was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that shewed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go, and do thou likewise. But he willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor, in order for someone to inherit eternal life in the tribulation period, he or she must go and do like the Samaritan did to the Jewish person. Genesis 12 verse 2 KJV and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. If they did as the priest and the Levite did, they would not inherit the eternal life they sought. A certain Samaritan, the Samaritan was one of the lost sheep from the house of Israel who later on helped the certain man, a Jew, when a priest, and a Levite, both fellow Jews, would not. If a Samaritan was a neighbor unto this Jewish man, who were the Jews to be neighbors unto? The Samaritans. Pouring in oil and wine, these are used in the tribulation period to help people as they are here. Revelation 6 verse 6 KJV And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Luke 10 verses 38 to 42, KJV, Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet, and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him, and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. One thing is needful, Jesus came all the way to teach those in Bethany things pertaining to the kingdom, and Mary should have been listening to Jesus.